Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve this differential equation. So let's get started. Problem, solve y times 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y into dx plus x plus log x minus x sin y into dy equals to 0. Solution, given differential equation, y times 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y into dx plus x plus log x minus x sine y into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. Which is of m dx plus m dy equals to 0 form. m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two, we will get m and m. Where m equals to y times 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y and n equals to x plus log x minus x sine y. Okay. If partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to s, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. is your m and is your n. Now we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to dou by dou y of m y times 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y is equals to here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so we will treat x as constant that is 1 by x will be constant. Okay. So you can write the above as dou y dou y of y y times 1 plus 1 by x plus dou by dou y of cos y this is equals to 1 and 1 by x are constants right so you can write the constants separately into Derivative of y with respect to y. Derivative of y with respect to y. Constant into derivative of y with respect to y. Plus derivative of cos y is minus sine y with respect to y. Is equals to 1 plus 1 by x into. You can write dou y dou y of y as dou y by dou y plus into minus minus sine y which is equals to 1 plus 1 by x into derivative of y with respect to y is 1 minus sine y then dou m by dou y is equals to 1 plus 1 by x minus sine y. Okay. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is 1 plus 1 by x minus sine y. Okay. Now we will find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Do n by do x equals to do by do x of n. x plus log x minus x sine y. 
since we are doing partial derivative with the x so we'll treat y as constant so here sin y will be a constant so we can write the above as dou by dou x of x plus dou by dou x that is partial derivative of log x with respect to x plus partial derivative minus you are having minus in the right minus sine to do by do x of sine x sine y this equals to you can write this as derivative of partial derivative of x with respect to x plus partial derivative of log x is 1 by x minus sin y is constant constant into partial derivative of x is equals to partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus second term remains the same 1 by x minus sin y into you can write this dou by dou x of x as dou x by dou x is equals to 1 plus 1 by x minus sin y into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equals to 1 plus 1 by x minus sin y therefore partial derivative of n with respect to x is 1 plus 1 by x minus sin y right Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to 1 plus 1 by x minus sine y. And also we have 1 plus 1 by x minus sine y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. So we got dou m by dou y that is partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to partial derivative of n with respect to x. From this we can say that the given differential equation that is 1, if you consider it as equation number 1, you can say that 1 is an exact equation. Okay, so now we'll find the general solution to the given exact equation. The general solution, we know that The general solution of exact equation is given by integral over x and into dx plus integral of terms of n which is free from x into dy equals to constant. Okay, so let's consider the first one, integral over x, m into dx is equals to, here we'll be integrating m with respect to x, treating y as constant. is equals to integral of m y times 1 plus 1 by x plus cos y into d so the cos y into dx so here y is treated as constant right y and cos y are constants so now first we will split the integrals integral y times 1 plus 1 by x into dx as integral cos y into dx. Now, we can write the constants outside the integral that is y times or y into integral 1 plus 
1 by x into dx plus your cos y is constant, right? Plus cos y into integral dx is equals to y into integral. Again, you can split this as integral 1 into dx plus integral 1 by x into dx plus cos y into integral dx. is equals to y times integral 1 dx or integral dx is x. And we know that integral 1 by x dx is log mod x or log x. Okay. So you'll get x plus log x. plus cos y into integral dx is x is equals to x into y xy plus y log x plus x cos y. Write mod x here. So now we'll we got the result x y plus y log mod x plus x cos y for the first integral, right? x y plus y log mod x plus x cos y. Plus. Now we need to find the result for the second integral. Consider the second integral, integral of terms of n free from x into dy. We are having n equals to x plus log x minus x sine y. So here we have to take the terms which are free from x. We don't have any terms free from x. We have first term x, log x, x into sine y. We don't have any term which is free from x. So we'll take the terms of n free from x is 0 into dy equals to 0. Right? Plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy is 0 equals to constant c. Then xy plus y log mod x plus x cos y equals to c is the required general solution to the given exact differential equation. Or you can also write this as simply by taking y common from the first two terms y times x plus log mod x plus x cos y equals to c. Okay. So we have seen a problem from exact differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.